Today we're going to show you how to install our F3 knee protector domed. And this is a, a newer product that we created. Uh, one of the cool things about this is that it focuses in a more concentrated area in the knee panel area um, that's not overwhelming as far as surface area that it takes up. Plus it's produced out of our domed, uh, in this particular case, uh, real carbon fiber material. So it has a, a raised finish which also matches our spine tank protector, our gas filler kit, our gas cap kit, uh, and other products that we have. So you can create a really cool uh, combination of products that really bring that own, your own personalized look um, to your machine. So what we've done in advance is uh, the first thing that you have to do is sit on the bike and get an idea of your comfort zone when you're sitting on the bike because you are going to, uh, once you find that seating position that you like, you're going to take a piece of masking tape like we have on the bike right now and put it across uh, basically the, the top part of where your, your uh, leg sits. In addition, we have just a small piece of masking tape um, that follows the body line that will give us the uh, leading edge of where the kit goes. So what I mean by that is this is the top of where your legs would be and this is going to give us a positioning for our leading edge when we place the kit on and then you follow the line uh, which follows the angle of how your leg uh, sits on the bike and of course you've got concentrated protection right where your knee hits but of course it's decorative and has a really cool look as well so it kind of serves as twofold uh, for this application um, but looks really, really cool because of the design. So in advance, I did expose some of the adhesive. You can see how nice that grabs. In advance, uh, if you're installing on a warm day, what you can do in advance is put the kit in your freezer and let it sit in there for about five minutes, and that's to make the parts more rigid. If it's super, super warm out, then these are going to become a little harder to work with because they're going to be flopping around more because they're soft. So you can put it in the freezer, which will kind of cool it off, make it more rigid. It makes it easier to work with. So to start your install, you're going to prep this surface here with your 70% rubbing alcohol and paper towel. We have other videos that show uh, and discuss surface prep. But once that's all done and you're ready to install, surface is clean, you're installing in 60 degrees, 65 degrees or more, uh, then you're ready to go. So you're going to peel back your 3M uh, covering that covers the acrylic adhesive that's fully backed on this particular part. And for positioning, you're going to use your masking tape, the top edge of your masking tape, as well as the edge um, that you had put uh, in advance to give you good spacing. And you can pretty much let the kit fall how it wants to, especially if you did the freezer thing like we mentioned to you. And here you can, you can see that you want to keep about the same gap. And just tack it into place and then you can, you can kind of look at it from there. So this is a multi-part kit. So that's the outside of the kit. Then you have your F3 text which goes in the middle. And again, you're kind of building on it. So positioning your F3, what you're looking for is an equal, around, um, equal amount of space around the edges of the kit. And if you don't like it, you can kind of pick it back up and reposition it. You can also look at the spacing or set it on top of itself in advance. Uh, in advance of installing your kit to get a good gauge on what the spacing is. So there's the F3. And then the final piece that you put on with this kit is the little bar uh, that goes right in the middle of that opening 
It's the same bar that we provide when you get our spine tank protector, which goes up in the middle of the tank area. And after you get the material off, put the middle bar on. Now once this is on, you take your a soft rag uh, or a microfiber and go over the whole thing, pushing it down. And then we recommend you either put it in the sun and let it sit in the sun, or you can take a hair dryer and lightly warm the surface area so that you can really get a good tack uh, on the kit. Once that's been done, of course, then you can remove your tape. You would have put your tape on both sides in advance of your installation. But now you've got your three-dimensional uh, F3 domed knee protector. And that's a really, really cool look. A really neat look to your F3 that's completely unique, totally personalized. And that's how you do it. And that's our F3 uh, knee protector domed by ratmyspider.com.